We headed over to the Bedouin hospitality tent to relax around the campfire and drink some tea from the desert herbs. Ahlan wa sahlan to visit in Kfar Nukdim. Ahlan wa sahlan in Arabic. Welcome. My name is Suad. I am a Bedouin woman. Today, the Bedouin live in uh, uh, Saudi Arabia, in Yemen, in Kuwait, in uh, Egypt, in Jordan, and in Israel. So the Bedouin come to live in this area before Israel country born. 250,000 Bedouin in the Negev. 70% the government moved to live in the villages or in the city. The life of the Bedouin got to change because the Bedouin live in houses and have all the technology like the TV, Wi-Fi. I got to learn all about the traditional coffee making ritual and how crucial this coffee tradition really is in the Bedouin hospitality history. First, the coffee beans are roasted in front of the guest. So the coffee beans, after the roasting, it is have a black brown color. Then grind it up to a rhythmic drumming beat. Coffee gathered people together and allowed for other Bedouin nomads to feel welcomed and invited. Called this Jorun or Azam. Azam, it means to inviting. The Sheikh ground the coffee like the music and everyone listens to the music. He can come to visit and to drink the coffee with the Sheikh. Sheikh cook the coffee in the bakraj, bakraj, like this. Cook the coffee 10 minutes. Brewing the coffee and serving it. The Bedouin drink the coffee in a special cup like this called this Finjan. Finjan. Yeah. So, and the coffee is like the language or the message in the community. The Bedouin said, coffee very pretty, like the life in the desert. But the tea very sweet, like the woman. Like the woman. Yeah. In addition to learning about the Bedouin hospitality, I got a chance to hear some stories about the Bedouin way of life and some of her very own and very personal stories. I got engaged in 14. My family stopped my school in 16 and I got married in 18. Marriage in Bedouin custom called this exchange. Exchange, it is mean brother and sister marriage with another brother and sister from another family. So it is arranged marriage and it is mean to be equally. And equally it is mean when my brother uh, take a second wife, my husband uh, so take like him. And when my husband marriage again, I got to think like how I can help myself and another Bedouin woman like me. So I go to finish high school, I go to university, I do driver license and I go to work. I had three dreams. The first dream to make a movie for my life. Her second dream was to fly out of Israel and her third was to write a book, which she did but has yet to publish. I have 10 children, what? seven girls, three boys. It's extremely uncommon to see such an independent woman in the Bedouin community. Tradition says that if the woman is strong, it means the man is weak, which is why Sawad supports all her 10 children alone. So we just finished learning all about the Bedouin hospitality, which was super emotional and such a great experience. We are here at dinner, but before I show you what we're eating for dinner, take a look at this gorgeous, unbeatable view. This is the definition of dinner with a view. The sun is right about to set and this view and this air is so relaxing. So I clearly didn't enjoy my meal at all. I just happened to have two empty plates. And my delicious cup of tea, rumor has it that there's dessert on the way. Unnecessary, sir.